Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are marooned on an island once again, and that must mean one thing. We're playing another survival game because they all start this way for some weird reason. Welcome to Grand Emprise Time Travel Survival. Yes, we have a time traveling survival game developed by a sole developer, which is shocking to say the least. And yes, I've been following this one for a little while now. It just came out, so I'm super excited to get into it and uh, do some time traveling today. Right now, we are in the Jurassic era, or I guess dinosaur era in this game. And as we go down the tech tree, looks like it's pretty simple for the dinosaur era. We will go to different times. Uh, so yes, we first of all have to pick up the time travel device. I have a sneaky suspicion that's this glowy thing here. Uh, so we shall pick that up and... Press 1 to equip. Time travel device is damaged, so we got to view the tech tree and figure out how to repair that. So first of all, we got to get some rocks, and then we emergency fix. Simple enough. I see a rock, I pick up rock. Whoa, I explode rock with my fists of fury, I guess. Okay, so now we should be able to repair this thing, and we can time travel. I'm already time traveling. All I did was whack some rocks. This is exciting. Oh. Technology emergency fix complete. We are done. And this looks much more inviting. We have a nice little island here. Uh, okay. Did that just spawn in? Um, That's a big dinosaur. Thankfully, I'm on a little island here. I don't feel safe, though. It's not like it's deep around here. Um, I guess we do what we do in every survival game, and that's pick up things while trying to avoid... What the hell, man? There's so many big dinosaurs. All right, so let's see what's up next on the tech tree. We got berries and even more rocks. Okay, is this a berry bush? Whoa, I have like a, a dash? That's going to take a little while to get used to. All right, so yeah, we got some berries. Simple enough. Berry technology. I don't really know if I'd call it technology. I'm literally picking berries off a plant, but okay. 20 berries already? I don't know how much I need to eat, but uh, we're going to collect a bunch of food right now, so we don't have to worry about that later. All right, and back to rock collection. Even more rocks completed. What's next on the list? Um, dinosaur meat. Throw rocks on a dinosaur to kill it. Then harvest its meat by left-clicking it with a rock. Great. Oh, why are the little ones all by the big ones? Okay, there's one beyond this guy. I'm just gonna use my very fast dash to get around here. And that's what I'm looking for right there. Oh, okay. Hold on. I have to get used to the throw here. He's still just... Oh my, my god. How do you not see me throwing rocks at you? Okay, so I have to aim down low. And that is a Utah. Okay. Well, he might take a few hits here. I am very good at aiming, as you can clearly see. Okay, okay, let's use my dash to my advantage. I am faster than a freaking dinosaur, and he's freaking out. That's right. Take it to the butt. Please take it to the butt. So I'm glad I got a lot of rocks, because I am very bad at throwing. Jesus, that took forever. <laughs> All right, and there we go. We got some dinosaur meat. And goodbye, Utah Raptor. What do we do next? Oh, we tame a dinosaur. Uh, we got to find another Utah Raptor and throw meat on it. So we are essentially playing Ark now. Sweet. All right. So we're going to get away from the big guys. There we go. That's what I like to see. Hey, buddy, are, are you going to be my friend? I shall feed you and keep you safe as long as you allow me to ride you so I can get away from big, scary dinosaurs very, very fast. Are these guys... I just want to see their... They just let me come. Oh, God. Okay. So they do actually attack me. I was wondering if they didn't attack me. There you go, big guy. Eat your brother. It probably was your brother. He's like 20 feet away from you. And we have our first tame dinosaur. Okay, we are legit just playing Ark at this point. Sick. You gotta remember this is a time travel game though, so dinosaurs are probably only a small aspect of this. <laughs> I just love my character, man. Okay, now that we have a dinosaur, we need to find the ancient cave. A time rift has been detected in an ancient cave nearby. It's marked on your screen. I didn't know we had GPS in the dinosaur era, so I'm assuming it's the yellow exclamation mark. Gotta be honest, I think I'd be faster with my dash than using this thing. He, he doesn't even have a dash. Aha, this must be the ancient cave. I guess I'm gonna leave this guy now because it sounds like I'm gonna be time traveling again. How do I get through this? Do I whack it with some rocks? Oh, I can just walk through. <laughs> All right, Utah, then hopefully you can come w with me. Because yeah, we can just go through these plants. So, there should be something in this ancient cave. Um, that would be something. That's for sure. Utah Raptor, are you coming with me? Can't enter this time riff while riding. Okay, well, I'm sorry. It's been nice knowing you. I enjoyed our minute together. <laughs> I wish you the best luck out there, buddy. Goodbye. I have to teleport. I guess dinosaurs are, are not allowed, which is kind of lame. Okay, I see fire. We have advanced. That is clear. I do not see dinosaurs anymore. Are we in a different era now? 
Explore the ancient temple at this unknown time period to find what can recharge your time travel device, then time travel to the primitive era. Okay, so we're not in a new era. I guess this is still considered the ancient cave. Oh, I, th I thought that was just something on fire. No, that is clearly a magical wisp. Oh, so there is building in this game. I doubt it's going to be anything like this, but this is very pretty. All right, I see a gem. Gems are good things usually. Oh, and a giant dinosaur skeleton. Great. Can I, can I whack this? Oh yeah, take crystal shards, sick. Can I take the dinosaur? I shall punch you. No, that is not working. Oh my God, dude, this is insane. All right, more crystals. Gotta grab all of those. I should probably explore more, but I'm just <laughs> enjoying following the wisp. Okay, now we're getting creepy. What, is this going through all the time errors or something? I mean, we're definitely in Egyptian era. Um, but there's also, oh my god, there's a robot beyond this. So I'm, I believe I'm in a tutorial right now. I, I, I would assume and it's kind of showing you the different eras you're going to go through in this game. I'm assuming. Dude, this is really cool. Ships, possibly? I, I don't know. I'm Again, total assumptions. I have no idea how high tech we, we can get in this game. But this is a great introduction. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming these crystals might be what's used for the portals? Because that looks to be, like, one of the portals. Oh, I can take that. <laughs> uh, where where did my friend go? Oh, God, I'm actually lost now. May I think he did go up, maybe. Oh, nope, he's over here. Okay. Ooh, different gem. This one looks exciting. Oh, time travel device. Crystal shards used up to fully recharge the time tra travel device. Use it to travel to the primitive era. I don't want to. I want to stay here and loot some more. This is so beautiful. There's got to be some secrets around here, but I'm kind of excited to use my time travel thing now. This is truly fantastic. Okay. Um, equip and hold right click to see available time travel destinations. Left click one to time travel. So dinosaur era and primitive era. So you can go back and forth, I guess. That's really cool. All right. Welcome to the primitive era. And we have definitely changed the whole vibe of the game. Very, very pretty. I'm not seeing any dinosaurs. <laughs> Let's check out our tech tree now and see what we can do. So we got the typical starting survival stuff, crafting tables, weapons and tools, shelter, planks, animal meat. Uh, what do we go to? Okay, so a timely upgrade. What's next? Technology is not unlocked yet. So we got a ways to go before we can time travel further into this game. So yeah, for this episode, I guess we'll be focusing more on the primitive era. So I guess we should just start by doing typical survival things, collecting rocks and whatnot. Oh, I guess I can't punch these rocks anymore. That, that was in the dinosaur era. Do I go all Minecraft-like? Indeed I do. Oh, so you just punch a hole in the tree? There we go. Dude, that was like three punches. Okay, chill out. All right, so I do have to follow the uh, tech tree so I can use a small rock to mine bigger rocks. What is it? Is this like a rock? Can I actually... What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh hey, buddy. Are you going to be nice to me? We got a woolly mammoth. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I think he should be okay. What, what's going on with your hair, bud? <laughs> it's very fuzzy. I mean, hence the name. Uh, so yeah, I'm just looking for a big rock to mine with the little rocks. That's what I'm supposed to do right now. There we go. Yes. Okay, so now I had to wait to unlock the uh, tree punching mechanic. Hello, fellow fox. Uh, now I can do this, and that's going to unlock more of the tech tree. What? Watch out, fox. He doesn't even care. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, God. <laughs> I heard something chasing me. I thought it was the woolly mammoth. Okay, there's a lot more creatures here than I expected. Some of them not so nice. All right, so we can build a stone crafting table. I guess I don't think we'll be in this era for too long. So I guess this is a good spot to m make my base. Uh, we can always move it if we do need to. Um, what do I do? Just add stones to it? I'll just whack it with a rock. Just whack it with a rock. really wish that text was a different color. It's impossible to see. But there we go. We, we have our crafting station. Our very primitive crafting station. And construct with a rock. Everything is done with a rock in this game. This is great. Give me my axe, and I need a hatchet. So there we go. We have all our primitive tools, and we can see what we need to do next in the tech tree. First of all, let's try and get some animal meat. I think I know what I'm going to go try and get. This could be a dumb idea because it's a big predator, but, I mean, he's the one who started this. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Not so bad now, are you? Oh, he's running away. First hit. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know how much health I have. Okay. 
Okay, this is a dumb idea. This is a freaking dumb idea. At this point, it's personal, though. At this point, it's freaking personal. I'm gonna kill you even if it kills me. Ah, uh, I have slayed my first beast. Find a caveman camp, then kill or be killed? There's cavemen? Oh, this is dope. This, I, I am enjoying this. All right, first of all, let's get our cozy campfire up. I need lots more logs, so you know what that means. It's tree punching time. Okay, and now we can build a campfire and eat crocodile for dinner. Mind you, I'm, oh, actually, I am getting hungry now, so we should probably eat pretty soon here. Um, pickaxe. Okay, pickaxe this time. <laughs> it's a different tool every time. I don't get it. Why am I using a pickaxe? That's, it's, that's, that's for ore. This is wood. Shouldn't I be using a hatchet? All right, so I'm hanging up some delicious steaks. Nice. Oh, dude, I just found some berries, and they actually fill you up quite a bit. So I think food's going to be easy in this game, which I am not complaining about, because too many of these survival games will focus way too much on keeping your character filled and safe. There we go. We got some cooked meat, though. Um, How do I grab this? Take cooked meat. There we go. Oh, satisfying. Satisfying. Okay, so we are doing okay for food. What's next on the tech tree? Find a caveman camp? I kind of want to do that, but I don't want to lose my beautiful base. Screw it. It's not like it was hard to build. Can I actually destroy these? I don't know how to do that yet. I'm very much learning as we go here, so can I use a rock on it, maybe? Nope. All right. Well, worst case, if we do get lost, we can build a new base. It's only two items. <gasps> oh! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm actually really close to my base. I accidentally threw that. That's a, I got really lucky that that hit that tree. So I have to kill one of these guys. Hey, you. Hey, hey, what the frick was that? They have an invisible force field. These are much smarter than the cavemen I expected. What? Seriously. Oh, there. Okay. I don't know what the hell happened. Ha ha! Okay. And it's fighty time. Okay. These cavemen are not as bad as I thought. There we go. Back up and back up. Can't beat my dashing, bro. I have major dashes in this game. I don't know why, but I love it. What are you swinging at, sir? Oh my God. They are so hairy. <laughs> it's a caveman ball. Okay, next up, wood cutting. So we shall do this right here. And what do I do this time? Pickaxe. Wait, wood cutting table. Pickaxe. What? Just think about that for a second. <laughs> Add two logs. Okay. Now we use the hatchet. Okay, I thought I would have to use the pickaxe for the whole thing. We have made planks. I do like that you actually have to make the planks. That's actually cool. Um, so that's done. I'm just kind of working on the texture right now. Warp back to your shelter anytime using the time travel device. Ooh. All right, so we got to build a shelter. And I don't think I have enough resources. That's why it's red. Yeah, so I need a little bit of fiber and one plank. Okay, now it's time to build our wonderful shelter, which we can respawn at, I believe, and teleport to with our teleportation device or time travel device. It's going to be hard getting used to saying that. Um, And again, pickaxe. Everything's pickaxe. Okay, got it. There we go. We now have a very basic base. Hello, woolly mammoth. I can do a wooden bamboo house. I haven't seen any bamboo. Oh, it's just like pre-built homes. Okay, I'm wondering if you can make your own too. And you can have pre-builts kind of like the forest. Or if this is going to be the way it is. Um, which one is it? I'm assuming it's just one. Um, so I guess we'll do one and see what happens. Doesn't really say much besides simple house here, obviously. So we got to make a bunch of planks. Wooly Mammoth, please don't attack me. I enjoy having you as my neighbor. All right, just making a crap load of planks. Wooly Mammoth did not attack me, so that's good. I don't think they're aggressive, which is nice. Only have to worry about the crocodiles. All right, and I'm already building a home in this game. It's so fast-paced. I love it. Can I build a water home? <gasps> oh, that's kind of weird, actually. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea with the crocodiles, if I'm honest. All right, let's not break the game. Okay, okay, why is it doing that? All right, I guess I'm putting it there. Constructing a wooden structure with a pickaxe. Just a normal aspect of this game. Done. I guess, what was the point of the shelter? <laughs> Two seconds later, I built a massive bamboo house. Oh, so I can put stuff in this. So it's just the um, foundation of a house. Got it? Cool. Well, I ate too much berries and I'm overweight now, so I can't sprint. It is now basket time. The first thing we're going to add to our house. So I can add it to the wall. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes, the wall baskets. The best storage in the game. I guess it kind of makes sense. It just kind of looks like a shelf now. Um, so I guess we'll throw our crap load of food. Dude, why is it so easy to survive in this game? I'm just getting so many berries. But yeah, we'll just store some of our food in here, I guess. And the rest of the stuff is crafting materials, so we'll just keep those on us. 
All right, that was actually part of the quest. Now what do we need to do? Through the river, build a boat? How? How do I build a... Wait, is it in here? Oh, oh no, I, th I thought that was a boat. It's boat shaped. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. I've already have enough planks. Can I just say, like, I... <laughs> I've been playing this game for 38 minutes. Look at all I've done. This is kind of insane. Ah, well, that was easy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't, boat, don't go don't go away. Oh, my God. I have a boat. I have a freaking boat. I have a boat in this game. Oh, dude, this is insane. We got water physics and everything. All right. So, I, I have a house, a boat. I am overweight because I have so much food. Is that a massive freaking bear? Okay, that guy's definitely going to attack me. So, I'm, I'm just... I don't want to attack my neighbors ex except the caveman. But if they get too close, they will leave me no choice. All right, back to what we're doing, though, which is going down this tech tree as quickly as possible. Dinosaur hide. Oh, so we have to go back to the dinosaur era. Um, Do some water skins and use your boat to follow a river into the ocean. You'll find salt where river intersects with the ocean. Okay, that actually sounds really fun right now. I don't want to get lost, though. Is, is, is there a map? There is not a map. All right, well, obviously, it's on the river, so it's going to be pretty hard to get lost, in my opinion. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm assuming these white rocks could be salt, so let's just stop here and see if we can mine these bad boys. Are, are you the salt I need? Aha, it is. Dude, this is so cool. Oh, it even shows me where my base is. Oh, this is fantastic. I was so worried about losing it, but uh, yeah, obviously, it's going to show me where it is, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, I think that's all the salt around here. That should be enough for right now. So we'll head back and uh, probably go to the dinosaur era now because we need to go kill some of those guys so we can salt their hides. And there she be. I think I chose a really good spot for my home because this is the only part of the river that really opens up. It's kind of nice, but yeah, my home. Okay, and the one thing we still need to do here is make three filled water skins, which we should probably do because we have food sorted, but not water. So we can do that at the stone crafting table, which I believe is the first thing we made here, right? Um, yeah, now we have water skins. Oh, I need dinosaur hides for that. So yeah, I guess we're heading back. How do I, how do I use this again? Ah, dinosaur era. The berry era. <laughs> Why is it a picture of a berry if it's dinosaur era? All right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to question it. All right. Oh my God, he's still here. You waited. Oh, I love you. You know what? It's tempting to just craft you. <laughs> <laughs> take your hides but you're gonna be my little buddy can i attack with you oh i can okay so we're definitely gonna keep you then because i gotta go fight some other dinosaurs with you out of food taking damage oh um crap did i bring berries can't unride here why i have lots of space where did all the dinosaurs go when i was here centuries ago i guess if you think about it there was lots of dinosaurs did they become ex extinct oh there's one there god damn it i just swam all the way across this back we go Okay, and now you're going to eat your brother for me. Thank you very much. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, there we go. Chase the Utah Raptor with the Utah Raptor. <laughs> this is so cool. Dude, my Utah Raptor's a badass. Dude, just destroyed him. Oh, dude, you are a good teammate. You are fine. Took, like, maybe 10% damage. I need hides, though. How do I get hide? No. Um, What am I doing wrong here? What am I? Maybe they don't. Maybe use how raptors don't give hides? Oh, okay. So using a rock gets you meat. Using a stone hatchet gets you hides. Don't really understand that, but okay. Got it. Stupid rules. Oh, that's not... Okay, there's a Utah raptor beyond this guy. You know what? I wonder if I can take this guy on, though. Oh, God. Carnus Horus. Don't die, Utah raptor. Oh, wait. I'm taking damage. Okay. Well, that's a little aggressive, but there we go. So now we got to use the stone hatchet. To get hides. Hey, big guy. Thanks for the, the stuff, buddy. I think I needed 30, it said. Um, it says 30, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I actually need 30 or not. Yeah, it says get 30 dinosaur hides, and I'm going to need more for water skins. I was also supposed to get 50 salt. 50? How, how many did I get? I got Okay, so I got 24, so we're going to go get, get some more salt as well. All right, so yeah, we'll get a bunch of hides here while we're here, uh, just so I don't have to go back and forth. And is my guy growing? He's bigger. Is he growing? Is he becoming a big bad boy? Because that guy is definitely smaller. Hopefully, he gives me lots of hides, though. Give me lots. Lots. Of, okay, five. I, I shall take five. All right, so I'm going to feed my Utah Raptor. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to heal them, but I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. So he should be good now. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, big guy. Let's not hit that guy. I might try and take the little one, though. Yeah, I don't think we're skilled enough to take on a T-Rex. Okay, perfect. Go in! Go in for the kill! Oh, 
god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Am I dying? Oh, don't run to the T-Rex, please, for the love of God. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Was that a dream? What the frick? Oh god. We have flying T-Rexes. I repeat, we have flying T-Rexes. This was an awful idea. I'm dead. I'm, I'm freaking dead, man. Please go. Okay, I'm running into another T-Rex. Damn it. Oh, okay. It is my Utah ra Raptor that's been killed. This dude is literally just chomping me right now. Dude, eat the meat. Eat the meat. Eat the meat. Eat the meat. Eat the... Oh, God damn it. Well, that one is expected. I should never attack a dinosaur around a T-Rex, clearly. Um, closest spawn point. No! I hate that he's just there dead. I'm sorry, buddy. We had so many great experiences in the 40 minutes I've been playing in this game. Oh, that's a big bummer, man. I'm gonna go get another one. Dude's just mocking me right now, looking at me. Oh, don't come over here. Screw off. If you kill me again, I'm gonna cry. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 oh, God. I didn't realize you were there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, 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 here. Freaking eat, bro. Chill. You are my new friend. We shall battle other dinosaurs together. It's too easy to tame in this damn game. I'm <laughs> just bouncing this guy around. Two came at me at the same time. Are you okay, buddy? You have to be low health after that. But yeah, we just got two. Uh, yes, gonna underwater harvest here. Uh, so that is more than enough hides. The Carno gives me double the Utah Raptor hides. Good to know. I'm gonna actually grab meat off this guy in case I need to tame another one. And to get, grab meat, you hit him with a rock. <laughs> just gotta remember that. And there we go. All right. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. Hopefully you're safe here as I go back to the primitive era. Goodbye, buddy. Dude, this is so cool. I love this premise for this game. Ah, and look at that. My base is still here. Uh, and yeah, everything is good. Okay, so I need some water skins to craft the salted dinosaur hide. Um, so I said I needed three of these, I believe. So let's just make three right now. Done. Now we can make these salted hides. That's one hide. Four salt for one hide. And I guess I got to fill one skin at a time. So I got to keep smacking the water. So yeah, we're definitely going to need to go get some more salt. Um, This is going to be a bit of a process. It needs 30 hides? Well, it has moved me on. So I don't think I need the 30. It just tells me to get 30. So I'm assuming that's what I'm going to need for my armor. So let's just build the leather rack. So I'm just going to mass make some planks here by spamming buttons. Seems to work quite well, actually. <laughs> there we go. That should be enough. And now we got our massive drying rack. I guess, I mean, we are trying dinosaur hides. I was wondering why it takes so much salt and everything. I didn't think about the size of said hide. Um, and we make that with the pickaxe. There we freaking go. And what do I do now? Just dry it. <laughs> That's so cool. And it dries really, really fast. Everything is so fast in this game. We can just keep drying them, I guess. So yeah, you do need the salt, the hides before you can do this part. And now we can actually make leather armor. How hard is that to make that? I'm assuming that's on my stone here. I don't know if I like this, <laughs> this jump feature. It's hard to get used to. We only need eight leather for full leather hides. So I don't know why I told me to get 30 freaking dinosaur hides. Okay, so we have made a total of six with my current amount of salt. That should be enough for at least a chest piece. So we'll try and do that and see if that goes up the tech tree even more. So yeah, we'll just craft this. And is that all we needed? Indeed it was. How do I equip this thing? Oh, I'm so dumb. I didn't see this over here. Now that makes sense. Okay, so we have our iron armor. Or <laughs> iron armor. Leather armor. I was going to say we're going to go look for iron now. And it's said to be in the mountains. I'm seeing some ore way up there, so that gets me excited that it's probably right here. I can't seem to climb the mountain. Okay, so maybe that's not the ore up there. That ore, I need to tame a pterodactyl or something to get up there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to find it at a different area. It's gotta be just down here somewhere, somewhere. Ooh, these are looking more lumpy than usual. There it is! Okay, so it looks very similar to the ordinary rocks, but obviously more lumpy. And as you can see clearly by the edge of the world where the mountains are. So we'll grab a bunch of this now while we're here. This is ordinary rock. I'm pretty sure it's more jaggedy. And yeah, as you can see. So just look for the round lumpy rocks. Ah! Oh God, where the hell did you guys come from? I was wondering what was chasing me. I don't want to kill my friends. Frig off. I, I understand I just stole all your iron, but just deal with it, all right? Oh God, you hairy bastards. Oh God. Oh God, can I do this? Is this a dumb idea? I mean, worst case, I can just respawn and loot my stuff, right? That's how you get down from a mountain. That was impressive. Ooh. I, th I thought that was a cave. 
All right. Well, obviously, we need a furnace now for our um, iron that we just got. And then can we get into metal work? Like, what are we doing with the metal? Obviously, it's not armor yet, I don't think. I just unlock leather armor. I mean, maybe it is. I have no idea. I got to add logs. I just used all mine. Okay, that should be enough. And push bellow. Oh, my God. I actually have to, like, do things. How the hell do I do this? Push bellow. Furnace. Push. Why is it grayed out? Must aim at the bellow wood thing on the right of the furnace. Thanks. <laughs> that helps me, actually. I'm pushing it. What do you want from me? Oh, do I have to go from over here? Ah, I get it. I thought it was this handle. Isn't it this handle? That's how I would... Yeah, that's definitely how it's supposed to be used. But I guess we have to go over here and do it. All right. Pour filled water skin. Wait, I have to use water now? What the frig is going on? Pour filled water skin. Okay, so hold on. This is a lot more complex than I expected. So we'll grab some water. Why does it say E? But then you, le you left click. Okay, so there we go. We have cooled it off and we have gotten our iron. I do appreciate that to refine resources in this game it's actually a little bit of a process which is really cool all right guys and i think that's more than enough for the first episode of this game i mean we started off with nothing and look at us now i just i gotta say again i love how fast paced this is and uh i came into this not expecting much being that it is a sole developer but i mean i'm having a blast uh, I'm very curious what sand sailing is. Obviously, we're going to be getting close to the next era as well, to Egypt. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, please hit that like button so I know, because I would love to do some more of it for you guys. Because uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see where this game goes. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.